During all the years that I've been living in Gothenburg, I've never once been in this actual parking space, mainly because it's been closed whenever I try to get here, but now it's open. It looks cool. A couple of weeks back, I posted a Instagram reel showing off the different focal lengths from like 17 millimeters all the way up to 180. And there's been a lot of discussion about that reel in particular because there's been like two camps, you know, the, the one camp saying that, oh, but he's moving back at the same time zooming in, so you can't say the lens compression is real. And then you have the other camp that is saying, wow, thank you so much for actually showing this because it's great. So I kind of wanted to see if we could figure out if lens compression actually is a real thing or if it's something that you can achieve just by having a 16 millimeter lens and cropping it. If you ask me, I am probably gonna stay in the camp saying that lens compression is real. And there's a reason that you're using a 16 millimeter lens and a 50 millimeter lens and a 200 millimeter lens because they have different looks, purposes, and no one in their right mind would actually take a 16 millimeter lens to do a wedding photography and then just crop in in post. That would be, that'd be stupid. So on A1, a7S3, all right. What you're looking at right now is 16 millimeters. And as you can see, when I move my face close to the lens, it looks kind of distorted in a funny way, right? It's uh, kind of weird. Oh. But when I move back, you can see that I don't look that distorted. And when I reach my arms out, like there, there's so much in the frame so that I can't reach the edges off the frame because we're shooting at a 16 millimeter focal length. But if I were to move up to 35, you would see that it kind of looks different, right? So when I'm standing right here compared to this, the, the experiment that I want to do is that I'm going to walk back and stand kind of in the same frame with this lens and then all the way up to 200. And then we're going to see if we can take the 16 millimeter lens and crop that in to make it match with the 70 to 200 lens. And we're going to shoot all of this at 2.8 aperture. I think that this is gonna be a very interesting experiment. So I'm currently shooting this at 200 millimeters and I'm standing approximately one meter away from the camera. So in order for me to fit fully in the frame, I need to walk way back. I think that this is pretty good. If you look at the framing, you can see that I am fully in the frame. But look at the background and the sides and me as the subject. So now we're back to 16 millimeters. Let me just move all the way back again. To this point where I was framing up with the 70 to 200, is it gonna look the same as the 70 to 200? That is the question. I am very curious if we're gonna get the same shot with both of these two frames. I don't think so, but I could be wrong because I've never tried this before. It's good to be in the studio. It's cold and it's rough and it's uh, almost winter, I would say. Not really, but kind of. I am uh, feeling a little bit sick. I don't know if it's because of Alex, because he finds something in the pit of doom on the preschool and brings it home, or if it's just the uh, fall virus going around. Oh! We got a package. I don't think I have talked about this that much on this channel, more on my vlog channel, but I've been looking forward to this. Oh, nice. Some of you might have already noticed this cap, which is a logo that I've designed so that I can actually start selling merch. Because one of the things that I've always been feeling with merch and the PL logo is that it's very personal. I haven't really seen any reason as to why someone should buy the PL logo, but this, on the other hand, the Prime Robot, the Prime Gear. I'm gonna drop a link in the description if you want to buy one of these shirts. Only for European customers so far though. But this is looking good. Let's give it a try. Oh. Huh? Okay, I like this. I like it a lot. Fun fact, the orange that is in Prime is a color that I actually used in one of the first apparel businesses that I started over 10 years ago. To celebrate this though, I want to do something. I want to do a giveaway of one of these shirts, the Auto Focus 
Prime Gear shirt. You have the logo here in the front and then Prime logo here in the back. And it doesn't matter where in the world you are. I would just want you to comment the best freaking dad joke that you can come up with. And then I'm going to choose the top three out of those dad jokes. And then we're going to do a draw from those three. I think my first ever business that I started was back in 2012 because I got laid off from my then daytime job. In some way, I still feel like 2012, 2013, 2014, that was two years ago in my head. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's a long time ago. It's almost a decade. But it was kind of funny because when, when I first started up that business, I didn't really have a plan. I just knew that I wanted to do something. And it kind of turned out to be clothes because I started up something that was kind of related to me, but then I wanted to create something differently. And I feel like I'm going through the same thing again with the Peel logo and then now the Prime gear. But this time around, I do have a different feeling about it. I have a good feeling. And I know that this time, I got you cheering me on in this endeavor that I'm starting out on. But it, it's fun. I'm hyped. Woo. Okay, let's see if we can match up the shots that we got earlier and see if lens compression is actually a thing or if it's not. I'm very intrigued. I gotta say, like, they look kind of similar. And I didn't think they would look this similar, but what we also can see is that the image quality on the 16 millimeter is so degraded that no one would ever use this. I think that this experiment kind of shows that yes, you can crop in on an image and get the same look with a 16 millimeter lens as a 200 millimeter lens, but nobody in the right mind would ever do this and actually give it to a client or a customer or something similar and say, hey, we only had one lens. <laughs> if you're thinking right now, yeah, but what kind of lens should I buy? Or what kind of lens should I go for? I would say the easiest way to figure this out is what is it that you want to achieve with the lens that you're thinking about buying. For example, in my case, I'm using the 24 millimeter right now to capture a little bit wide field of view, but also give me the nice separation of the background. I'm also occasionally using this, which is the 20 millimeter lens f 1.8, which also gives me a little bit of wide field of view. And it's a great option if you can't afford a zoom lens, but still want to have this wide field of view when you're vlogging. I'm this is like 30 centimeters away from my face. But you can see like the closer I get, it looks distorted. Whenever I'm using my vlog camera, I'm using this lens, which is the 16 to 35. It's a great combo. It's like when, whenever you do vlogs, this is a great range. Let's do another experiment with the lens compression to show you exactly what happens. Because when you are moving away from your subject and then at the same time, like zooming in, that changes the entire view of the thing that you're taking a photo of or shooting a video of. Okay, let's do a new song here. Whoop, whoop. Try it, boy. Okay. Ball chair. Okay, let's see if we can get down here. Okay, so if we align the camera to be as close to my face as possible while still maintaining focus, that would be this. It feels very strange sitting this close to you, but everything for the sake of science. This looks strange because we are approximately 15 centimeters from the camera lens. But if I were to go up to 200 millimeters right now, I would have to move this camera way back, which would also change how the background looks and me as a person looks because we are moving the camera back. And now what you're looking at is a 200 millimeter lens on the camera placed approximately three meters away from me as the subject. So my facial features are not actually changed. It's more about the perspective of the camera. But that's also one of the reasons why we use different lenses to be able to get different framing and to be able to get a 200 millimeter lens and take a headshot, which is more flattering than just having a 16 millimeter lens up my face. <laughs> Each lens has its own purpose and you can't say that just because you have one lens, you can achieve all the same shots. If I were to try to vlog with a 70 millimeter lens, it would look like this. And now I'm stretching my arm as far away as I possibly can 
from my face. And if we were to go up to a 200 millimeter lens, it would look something like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I kind of kind of goes to show that even though you can get the same kind of look with a 16 millimeter as a 200 millimeter, if you want, you can't get the same look with a 200 millimeter lens as you can do with a 16. Hmm? And different lenses for different purposes. I really hope that you liked this video, and if you did, please do give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe if you're here for the first time. Okay. Link in the description, all that good stuff. Peter from Sweden, saying goodbye.